four. Ah, oh, YouTube's being weird. So are my bangs. They need a good cutting. Betty Page would be appalled at my long, unshapely bangs. I can't just do that. Sure she would. <laughs> the spirit of Betty Page. She was quite the nut, you know. And she, I'm having trouble with my chain. She killed her landlady. Okay, Poe, I don't need your help. Bye-bye. Bye, Kitty. -bye. Bye -bye, oh, I'm Bye -bye. so sorry. Come here, Popo. Because Popo is naughty, Kitty. Popo's naughty. He is a monkey. See all my naughty monkey. My mess back here. It's my pillows and blankies and happiness here in the corner of the couch. So hi, we I'm Tushy Galore and that was Mr. John Miller and Poe the Cat. And he's trying to put the cat away because he's being, he's beezing up a storm. Look at my new readers. Aren't they cute? See the pink leopard print? My stepson picked these out for me. Braun was helping me look for the type I needed at the Dollar Tree, y'all. And he found these for me. Just what I needed. And they're so cute. They're so, <coughs> so very tushy, aren't they? Indeed. I've got smudgies on them already. Oh. So... Hmm. What? Nothing. Oh, so I'm trying to learn to cope with all this stuff. So um, I will be getting some much cooler readers here in the near future. But we went and saw um, it was John Miller's children yesterday. We hadn't seen them in forever, and they're at a stage where they're really growing fast and they're turning into teenagers. And it's like you want to see the last of the childhood. You know, before it all goes away. So we went to see them. Everybody wore masks. And we um, we went to Fort Smith, Arkansas. And just drove around, looked at houses. And stopped and had lunch. And uh, in the car. And went to a park. And where we had a lot of fun. And John took what I'm sure is unfortunate yeah. video. Of me swinging. Because that's what I love to do. And then I got kind of nauseated. And had to stop. But the reason I was nauseated is because we had gone to Dollar Tree and I bought some Andy's chocolate mint. And my whole life I've loved that stuff. Well, since I was a teenager anyway. Loved it. Loved it. But now, within the last year or two, I've noticed that mint makes my stomach upset. So, I've had to stop using... Would you mind turning that down? I would appreciate it so very much. Thank you. We don't have ghosts. We just have John playing a game next to me. Um, what was I talking about before I got huffy about your game? I don't remember now. Something I got from Dollar Tree. Shit. Yes. I hate how, how easily I get off of them. Off the topic. But that is me, isn't it? Oh, well. Mushrooms. Saw the kids, went, oh, the swing. Yeah, he took yeah. video. Everybody was having such a good time. The only people in the little playground was just us. And his kids were running around, even though they're like almost 12 and 13. They were running around playing and having fun and laughing. And and there was a, a thing that was sort of a platform with these sides that, that will fall down. And you can put a wheelchair up on the ramp. And secure the doors back on and then swing them, which I think is awesome. And I do have a wheelchair, but I didn't need it that badly that day. Just when we were in the giant Dollar Tree, I was fine for hobbling around with my cane on the playground. But Braun, <coughs> my, my stepson, wanted me so badly to get my wheelchair out and put it in that thing. So instead, I I managed to get my get my body up in it and I stood in it and held on to the the chains Pictures and will be forthcoming. swung and went back and forth and just it was fun and then like adults would come around and I'd get all embarrassed and just get still and try to despair but I don't know if they were judging us or not who knows I'm not gonna worry about it so we did we went to the giant uh, Dollar Tree in Fort Smith and I got some more crap and I thought I don't I don't know if y'all really want to see it or not, but here we go. Here it is. I got more of this ribbon that has glitters in it. Allow me to take the plastic off so you can see. 
There we go. Oh, there's some on the tape. Seriously, I'll probably pick those off and put them in a little jar I have for stray <coughs> glitters that I pick up. And it's like, like that. It's kind of see-through. And it's like a web with glitter. And I'm ex starting to experiment with this doing nails. And it looks pretty cool so far. I just did one little sample nail. And John is making deliciousness for us. We just went shopping at Aldi and spent about a hundred bucks, but we came home with a lot of groceries and I desperately needed snacks. Most of the time I'd rather just eat little snacky kind of things. So I got some healthy snacks, nuts and you know, oat things and whatever. They got these nuts, did you? What? No. <laughs> what? Nuts. Nuts. These nuts? These nuts. Okay. I'm getting these so nuts? far off topic. We're, we're having again? a fun weekend. I don't know. I'm just catching up. I didn't brush my teeth yet. You Wait a minute. Yes, I did. This morning. Okay, I just suddenly had a fear and I smiled. I thought, Your teeth are fine. Once in a while, I forget because if I wake up and I'm queasy, I do not want to brush my teeth. I use children's toothpaste that's flavored with, I think, uh, clove because it tastes a bit like juicy fruit gum. It has minions on it. He's <laughs> so, <laughs> minion toothpaste. Dollar Tree. How ironic is that? <laughs> Dollar Tree. I had heard someone on a video, and I forget who. I wish I could remember so I could give her credit. Uh, someone that does nails talking about this diamond brand file. I just got one, and really a dollar is a bit for a good nail file. Usually, whether I buy them in bulk or just go to Sally's, I can usually get them for 75 80 cents. But... I don't know. I thought I'd give it a give it a shot. Maybe not right now. Uh, I don't know. Nobody cares. But <laughs> nobody cares. Why are you talking about it? I don't know. I'm just so crap that I got from the. Okay, I'll try it. Where's my my skizzers? I have no idea. Uh, Do I look like your scissors keeper. My skizzer keeper. I don't think yes, so. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you're always going to say yes darling, because that's your advantage. Darling. Yes, dear. You look like my everything. Oh, yeah. Suck up. <laughs> or, or I love you too, darling. <laughs> what you meant to say. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Let me get in frame here. Maybe I should scooch back a little. My head's lopped off. No, I didn't. Oh, littles. Yeah. Littles don't start that with her spray bottle. Now you're going to get accused of abusing your cat. Animal abuse. <laughs> well, he's abusing Stella, who's about half his weight. So. Oh, look, no. She's, I don't think she's half. I think she's a third of his weight. Well, whatever the case. Where did my package with my thing in it? Here we go. Oh, no. My hair's getting long. It grows fast, doesn't it? My cute little bob is turning into a page boy. Yep. <laughs> We'll start calling you Prince Valiant. <laughs> it's about start. the time you'll get a haircut or something, yeah. There it is. Let's see. Yeah, that's the smoother side. It's probably a 180? 180 grit? I don't know. This is not the best nail file ever. I say save your money. Don't get them at the Dollar Tree. Get your multi pack of them off of the internet. Mark Marquette. Mar Marquette? That doesn't sound right. McCart. McCart, or I got some from um, from a nail place in Fort Smith. Um, nail supply place, and they've been awesome. I've loved them. I got a big pack, and they ended up costing me, I don't even remember, maybe 50 cents a piece or something. Yeah, or I didn't want even that much. Yeah, they were pretty reasonable. About like 20 bucks for that big box, wasn't it? I think it was 16. 16, 16 yeah. It's cheap. Yeah. So, uh, or go to, if you don't think you're going to need a whole bunch of them, just go to Sally's and get one of theirs for like 80 cents because this is garbage. I'll use it, but it's meh. 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 All right. I Do cheated. my toenails with it. Uh, <laughs> I kind of cheated. I bought these time before last. 
when I went to Dollar Tree, but I wanted to include them in the haul because I haven't even taken the thing off, the packaging off of it yet. These are so nice. They have racks, big racks now at Dollar Trees with all kinds of little fuzzy socks. But honestly, these little nubbly ones, they feel like they're made out of tiny pom-poms. And they're, they're not too thick because I don't like to wear really super hot, warm foot things. I just don't. I like thin socks. And even when it comes to cozy around the house things, I don't want them real, real heavy because my feet get hot and then the rest of me gets hot. So I sleep with my feet and my legs out of the covers most of the time. It helps regulate my body temperature. And these are just perfect. And they feel so neat. Can you like tell? Like a lizard. Like, they don't feel like a lizard. No, that's how you regulate Oh, me. I'm like a lizard. <laughs> Put me under the sun lamp. So I recommend those. I've got two pair now in this uh, gray scale. And I've got... A pink pair and a purple pair and I saw a blue pair there yesterday and I almost picked them up and I thought no you have enough you have four pairs of these now to get you through the winter so <laughs> got some anti-diarrhea because this stuff is a dollar and it works <laughs> and I have IBS leave me alone I got some, some junior mints they were all out of senior mints I hope that it's okay. <laughs> Middle-aged mints. That's that's a gap in the market right there. I really shouldn't eat these. I'm not going to eat these because I've had sweets out the yin-yang. We got, uh, I was going to show you groceries, but I forgot to, to ask John not to put them away. And he was in the mood. Put them away and get some food started in there. So that is fine. And it really wasn't that thrilling anyhow. But you know, Aldi has some good things that you... Never really think of neat combinations of stuff and flavors and. I got one. There's one thing I could run there and get. What? You could show that everybody'd be interested in. What? Kirkwood Farms Red Bag Chicken. We have recently gotten on board with the Kirkwood Farms Red Bag Chicken. They call it Red Bag because it's in a red bag. There's a Facebook group. I have not joined it yet, but obviously this is a big thing, and we got it once, and it was so good. It's just a little chicken breast. It's not, would you please put that bag away? Well, who's in it now? That's why I asked you three times to put it away before I started my video. We have a bag that we used at Aldi and it's very crunchy and the cats will not leave it alone and it's really starting to bother me. Thank you. Sorry about that. Ask him to put it away and he took it from the table and put it on the floor. That's okay though. Um, yeah, it's real good in the air fryer. It's not the, the chicken that's been pulled all apart and smushed back together. And it gets really crispy in the air fryer. It's lovely. And people use them in salads and they make all kinds of different uh, dishes with them. So we stocked up on that. That's what he's talking about. Back to Dollar Tree. Now he got some stuff at Dollar Tree that I, I didn't show because it's just his stuff. Um. These are my tags off of my glasses. I got two pairs of readers. They're a dollar, and they're way better than the readers I got at Walmart. Ten dollars. I'm going to be getting some twenty-dollar ones. I'm mail ordering them, but they're going to be extra super fine ass. So I got these with the leopard, and then I got these because even though I don't dress in a Betsy Johnson style, I love Betsy Johnson style. It's so fun. And these are, probably can't tell because I have all this kooky lighting on in here, but they are a lime green and the handles are black and white striped with roses. And I loved it. And I said, okay. Even though I almost never wear a light green, I've started getting kind of drawn to it. Oh, there's some ibuprofen. That's another thing that didn't necessarily need to be in the haul. And the biggest, most expensive thing I got, <laughs> oh, bless you. And I think there's one missing, actually. It might be rolling around in the car. I got some glitters. Because I had gotten glitter there before, and it was in a bottle just like this. <laughs> and at the time, they only had two colors, a light pink and a darker pink. And I said, well, I don't usually use pink, but I'm about to because these are pretty. And so when I saw these, and keep in mind, even though I had eye surgery and all that, I now can't 
see where I used to be able to see, I can't see, and where I used to not be able to see, I can. And then there's stuff all in between <coughs> that I just, it's a little bit, like I can see some of it, but not all of it. It's still kind of fuzzy, and I'm struggling with the, the new eyesight. So I saw these, and I said, oh, these are awesome. And I grabbed every color they had. And I got them home and poured some out and shined a light on it. And they are dull as dirt. Dull, dull, dull. It's about as sparkly as sugar. You know, the sugars you get to go on cookies. But I'm still thinking I can probably still do some really cool things with it. I can make something that looks like stained glass window or... I don't know. I think I can maybe use it on my nails as a background and then put something more sparkly over it. Or, I don't know, but I got, uh, you know, red, silver, it's the only blue they have, isn't it pretty? Nice light blue. Uh, gold. Or oh, like a light green, flamey light green. A pretty emerald green, which I adore. I'm in a real green kick right now. My favorite color, purple. And the purple, I was super excited that it came in two different shades. Here, I'll show you side to side. And usually purple gets kind of forgotten when products like this are manufactured. The one right here by my pinky is much redder than the one over here. That one has more blue tones. So, definitely appreciate that. And then a, a pink. That's very pretty. And also, I was thinking about taking, where'd I put them? All this crap that I got at Dollar Tree um, before Halloween, which still before Halloween, you wouldn't know it from looking in the stores. It's all Christmas now. I got all this kooky wooden Day of the Dead stuff. And thought I was going to do something to enhance them and make them more interesting. Because <clears throat> any asshole can just go and buy this and put it on their wall, right? But what about an asshole who got fabric that looks like snakeskin leather, black, and cuts it to fit, make the hat band look like it's some kind of, you know, leather. And then do something so it looks like it's real rose. Like get a real rose and put it on there. Not a real rose, but a silk, three-dimensional silk rose. Use some glitters on it, some things that aren't glitter, but I don't know, just be crafty with it. Make it more interesting. And amongst all the skulls, there's my ex-husband, Chris, <laughs> Chris, I almost said his last name too. There he is, he was so cute. He was so cute. Anyway, I need to send him his, his pictures. I held this one out because it's a good one of them. I'm gonna take one of them and keep it. John doesn't mind because we sat in his ex-wife's living room yesterday and I, I don't think I told her I loved her, but I do. And Y'all hug next, so. We did, we're a very open-minded family here. As long as nobody goes crawling in bed with somebody else, we're okay. No worries. Ditto. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> so, most of my exes are long out of my life and I'm very happy for that fact. They are dead to me. But Chris is, is still my sweetie. I love him. He and I were much more like father and mother, or no, mother father, and son. Mother. Father and mother. We were not. We were like mother and son. Yeah, yeah, we were more like mother and son. I know it was like, that's why the relationship didn't last. Got this neat thing. Needs more glitter, needs sequins, needs. Oh my Lord. Something. <laughs> Leave me alone. I like being crafty. It keeps me off the streets. Could be out there crawling over the fence, hooking like the rest of the girls in this neighborhood. Well, have spending money for yourself then. Actually, you? as many pedophiles as we have in this neighborhood, I don't know if I can find any customers. We get those things in the mail saying that a predator has moved into your neighborhood. Yeah, Here's his picture. Much much as I go out and get my knife out and go and look for those guys, I never can find them. <laughs> He's kidding, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, we have had apple cider donuts already this morning. We have had cinnamon donuts because Aldi had donuts and I forgot I had already put cinnamon donuts in the cart and then I saw the apple cider 
donuts. And we're like, oh, they're here. Apple cider donuts. We didn't get any cider, though. We will because they didn't have decent cider there. I'm not buying that crap. Well, go to Harps and get us some cider. Yes, I'm looking at myself as if I'm sitting in front of a mirror. So I guess that's all I have from there. It's it was it was a, something to do. It was a uh, let's get out of the house. Hey, it was, they, let everybody know they've got hamburger there. Good hamburger for at, uh, at, at Dollar Aldi. Tree. No, at, Dol at Aldi's. Oh, at Aldi's. We were out at Aldi's. We yeah, we got some hamburger meat. We got dollar um, ninety nine a pound. It's good meat. We got all kinds of good stuff. We got some naughty food like some donuts. But then I got good food like grains and um, and nuts and fruit. Got a lot of produce, so. Chicken piccata with oh. lemon and with asparagus, roasted asparagus. Yes. That's gonna be so good. When is that gonna happen? I don't know. He's know. he's making us some hash browns from scratch and some little ham steak that we picked up also at Aldi. It's very, very Little, good. it's bigger in my head. Ah, huh, yeah. It's like, anyway, that's what we're up to. Eating, hanging, you know, doing a toot. Y'all want to do a toot with me? You got your toots available? Go get your, your pipe, your bong, your whatever you use. And let's do a toot together. I think I've only got one. Three viewers. Hi, y'all. I got viewers and I can see. <gasps> I can see now. I can see if y'all want to comment. I just have to lean forward slightly. So, uh, I've now become one of these. Looking over the glasses and have them hanging around and then try to put them on with one hand and do a little bit of, you know, try to get in there. I poke myself in the eyes a lot because they go like that. My other ones, they're like this, right where my eyes are. I gotta put them on. Oh Lord. I love you. You're so silly. <laughs> so I guess that's it for me. I don't know if this is a vlogtober or not. I guess it is because it's still October. And it's a video about what I'm up to. So oh we don't have any kind of drive through Halloween haunt things here. I'm so disappointed because if y'all don't watch Foodie Beauty, go watch Foodie Beauty. She's adorable. She's a mess. She's funny. I wish she was my pal. She lives with her best friend, Pete's. Uh, his name is James, but his nickname is Pete's. And they go and do stuff, and they're funny as shit. And they eat together. They have their little mukbangs. And, or he eats the normal amount, and she eats her normal amount. And they're, <laughs> they're usually very funny together. And she took us without Pete's. On a, like put her camera on the dashboard, I guess. And she did a drive through in there in Quebec. Quebec? No, Ontario. Ontario, yeah. Yeah, it didn't sound right. Not too far from New York. Yeah, she's in Ontario. And um, she did a drive through thing during the day and took us with her. And it was, it was uh, like not as scary. I think it was kind of for kids because they had giant, uh, big dinosaurs that were animatronic and they had big bugs and stuff like that. And they had people that would jump out at the cars and have a horn and go -ka 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 -ka, like that at the car. And she took us on that and I really enjoyed it almost as if I were there. And, and <laughs> then she and Pete's That's went on a, she, <laughs> she and Pete's went on a nighttime one and she was also hilarious in that one. She had Pete's laughing so hard because <laughs> everything scares her. <laughs> hilarious so go watch foodie beauty her real name is Chantal tell her that Tushy Galore sent you because I've I've attended a few of her live streams and said hey and she said hey back and stuff so she might recognize my name Tushy Galore sent you and um yeah you watch those videos for a good laugh and and I don't know I guess that's that's truly it from us I love y'all you ready you ready adios Mwah.